everybody. Welcome to installment two of the 2020 Lamley Awards. Time to vote again. Hopefully you've already voted. Several thousand of you have on best and worst Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt of 2020. Those polls are still open and will be for a while. But now we're on to this topic. We are going with best Hot Wheels premium licensed new model. That's a mouthful, but hopefully you know what I'm talking about. These are models from Car Culture, from Team Transport, from Fast and Furious Premium. New models introduced in those lines. Even the Diorama series, I think, had one. And uh, we're going to go over these models, and you're going to vote for your choice as best of these models. Not doing worst on this one. I just don't think it's of much value with these premium, but uh, like we did with the Super Treasure Hunts. But rolling this out today, Friday morning, this week of Thanksgiving, I'm going to roll out the other polls Friday and Saturday morning. Friday morning will be Hot Wheels Basics. Um, we'll go with best and most disappointing licensed new model. And then Saturday, I'll roll out Matchbox. And then I'll leave those polls open for about a week. Let you vote only once, of course, on each topic, each category. And then uh, we'll start rolling out the winners. But we've got a lot of other fun things. Like I've said before, I've got the Lamley contributors contributing their best of uh, lists. I'm going to contribute my best of lists. And these are going to be every brand. I have you vote on Matchbox and Hot Wheels, but we'll go well beyond into the models that I think are, are some of the best of the year. Auto World, Tomic Limited, Vintage, Tarmac Works, Mini GT, you name it. Let's get right to it. Um, it's kind of a crazy year and it almost seems like it was broken up because of COVID and it kind of was. Some of these models that I'm going to show you seem like they were out, oh my gosh, 10 years ago and then others seem like they've just all kind of lumped in in the last few days or the last few weeks and it kind of seems like that. There was some delays because of COVID in production and uh, now we can just get to it and we can actually review what was actually officially the releases of 2020. We start with this. This is the Honda Civic EG. I'm trying to go with the official names. There's no year attached to this particular one. This was in Fast and Furious Premium. If there was a second version released, I'll show it to you. Um, and in this case, there was. And I think there, was, there were four repeats this year. So I'll show you the other colors. But again, as you're voting, you're voting on best. You're not necessarily, if you want to factor in the, the decos, the colors, all that stuff, you're more than welcome to. But uh, we're voting on what you consider the best new casting. Uh, of this group. So this was a Fast and Furious Premium in yellow with the black hood. It has those uh, really nice six-spoke reel riders. And then I don't have it in this uh, background here, but there was a second color from Modern Classics in car culture, right? The famous or infamous, depending on who you are, Hello Kitty model. Um, I like this. I'm trying to stay neutral on these, but I like all these models. I'll just kind of tell you what I did. I thought this deco was fantastic. We're not necessarily voting on the deco. Um, I thought this was a really, really cool version to do the Hello Kitty uh, version of the Honda Civic EG. Moving on, same mix of Fast and Furious. We went from Honda to Subaru. Wasn't this one a snow driving car? It's the 2016 Subaru WRX. Let me start again. 2016 Subaru WRX STI in white, more modern version of the STI white rims, white body. We'll see this obviously in other versions in the future. That's one of the things I've said this hundred times about uh, Fast and Furious. I love this because, and I love that line, because it just means that uh, Mattel's pouring more money into more premium models. And whether or not I like the release from, from Fast and Furious, it doesn't matter because I'm getting that casting and we'll see um, cool versions later on. All right. I'm trying to go, this might not be totally in order of release, but I'm they're roughly in order of release. Um, so, for, so we'll be switching from like car culture to Fast and Furious to Team Transport and back and forth. So we go back to car culture from Japan Historics 3, two new castings. This is the 1975 Datsun Sunny Truck, the B120, the B120. In yellow. Mark Jones does most of the premium new casting design. Steve Vandervate does most of the decos. And although his work isn't in front of us right now, Julian Coyles does the art. And we always have to give him a shout out because the art on these is so fantastic. And then we need a shout out to Jimmy Liu um, in marketing who is who has his hands all over these as well. A really, really cool team of really, really good folks um, over there uh, handling these premium castings. Uh, Dotson Sunny Truck. I brought up Mark Jones now because his artwork, his art supplies are in the back of this truck, which I thought was a very clever 
idea. You can see that there um, in the back. So that was a new casting. That might be your favorite. Could be the Mazda Cosmo. Cosmo Sport, right? 1968 Cosmo Sport. Bumper deletes on this one, which I thought was cool. Uh, kind of a Hot Wheels take on a classic Japanese, you know, I don't know if supercar is the right word, but the, between the Mazda Cosmo, I would say the Mazda Cosmo and the Toyota 2000 GT were kind of the original um, Japanese sports cars. And, uh, and this one, they've been obviously Hot Wheels has done both now. And this one with the bumper deletes is kind of a cool, kind of, it's a very, very cool version. And uh, for people of real classic, who fans of classic Japanese cars, that might be what their vote will be for best. We'll stay in car culture. We'll move over to Germany with the Porsche 959, 1986. So the official title, Porsche 959, and in parentheses, 1986. I wonder if that differentiates the other Porsche 959 that Hot Wheels did several years ago that I think they've modified once or twice. This is obviously a new premium casting done rally style. So it sits on larger rims or larger wheels, I should say, um, with that more off-road styling. Um, and then you've got the tribute livery that they ran with um, the Bilstein deco here that's very cool. From Car Culture, I can't even remember the name of the um, series that it was in, but we know it was Car Culture. All right. We saw Team Transport introduce a couple of new models this year. Let, let's see, one, right? One. And uh, the Mercedes Benz 300 SL was that model sure I got the title right. Yep, Mercedes-Benz 300 SL or the name. This one was cool. IWC, the watchmaker, the Swiss watchmaker, uh, CEO of which Chris Granger is a huge Hot Wheels collector. Uh, we might uh, see his top 10 at some point on LamleyGroup.com. Very excited to see what he comes up with. Um, anyway, they collaborated with Hot Wheels and came up with this awesome tra team transport set. And uh, we saw the 300 SL introduced in RLC. This is a completely different casting. Um, bumper deletes on this one. It's actually a replica of IWC's race car, which you've seen at Goodwood. Um, this Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. Very, very cool. And we did see a second color, which we all remember because it was just recently re released. And I can't remember how to say it. I said it in the introduction or in the uh, showcase video I did on this one. Um, but uh, classic race car, Mi uh, Minia Milia. I hope I said it right. I'm always scared when I do it wrong, but you guys will let me know, and that's fair. That's fair, because I'll get it wrong, and I don't want to get it wrong. Iconic, iconic car. Um, you remember, you're just voting on the casting, but those are both versions that were released this year. Another twofer. Back to, what was this, Fast and Furious again? And two new models in this particular mix. This is the 87 Buick Regal GNX. Kind of a redo, in a sense, of the Grand National. Um, you know, there was the Grand National casting we saw in Premium uh, Boulevard years ago. Um, we even saw it in RLC. This is a far better version, but has a new, you know, it has the Regal GNX mark uh, marker on this one. So introduced in black with black rims from Fast and Furious. Couldn't tell you the movie, but I can surely tell you that this car was fantastic. And then we saw it in white in car culture just recently with the uh, gold rims on this one. So I love seeing these two... Um, GNX's officially Grand Nationals in black and white. So this is more of the Regal. Isn't the Grand, wasn't the Grand National supposed to only be black? You guys will tell me. I think that's the case. Because you see the Grand National badging on this one, but I don't think you do on this, GN, on this Regal GNX. So two colors on that one. Uh, cool casting. The other one from that, uh, from that series was the Ford Lightning 1999 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning this was Paul Walker's shop truck, right? From Fast and Furious. We did see this introduced in Basic, but it's a different casting, completely different. Rio Sada designed it for Basic. I think Mark Jones designed it for Premium. So if you look, you'll see that uh, they're very different, kind of built from the ground up. Um, so no confusion there on that one. So this is a really nice version of the SVT truck. Very much a Fast and Furious replica, but you can see this one being done um, in all kinds of other Decos, big fans of the Lightning. All right, moving from right in the back, right towards your screen. Pontiac GTO, 1966, right? 66 Pontiac GTO. This was from Boulevard. Is this the first new model from Boulevard? I think it is. Boulevard was introduced this year, kind of made its comeback. 
three new castings in Boulevard. This is the first of the new ones. We'll get to the other two later. Um, theme of Boulevard. So now we have Fast and Furious Premium, Pop Culture, Car Culture, um, Entertainment, and now Boulevard. Um, Hot Wheels has really put the investment into the premium lines. And Boulevard's theme is essentially Hot Wheels folks, quote unquote, kind of driving, cruising down the road. Um, this is a replica of an actual Hot Wheels one-to-one -one scale car, a real car. Um, they did a replica of the 67 GTO, but, but I think they used the 66 GTO, so they've come back and done a new casting. Kind of confusing, there was a 67 GTO casting, Hot Wheels made a replica of that, or an actual version, a real version, and now they've come back and done a replica of the real version that they did of a, I don't know, I'm getting ahead of myself, that's a new casting, 66 GTO. Maybe that, you muscle car fans, that's the one that you like the best. Or maybe you're a rally fan. You got two really, really cool classic choices to choose from. Ford RS200 um, from Car Culture. Thrill Climbers, right, was this line. Three new castings in this line. Looking at the Ford to start. Um, this almost seemed like almost a dream come true for so many rally fans to see this one the rs200 introduced and right next to it and just kind of moving right along because i mean i mean this is a powerhouse I, I could see both of these getting a lot of votes the lancia 037 lancia was looking at the name lancia rally 037 um, right next to it pretty amazing to see these two castings introduced at the same time in the same line full premium with tribute decos right the ford deco on the rs200 this martini tribute quote unquote we would call it on the lancia racing car um, that looks so good too um i can't move past these two castings without singing their praises i'm not giving away what my best new model is i mean there's so many strong candidates to be honest i don't have my choice yet i got a little bit of time to decide uh, but i gotta come up with one and uh, these two rally cars, without me trying to get, you know, you, you choose what you choose, but these two rally cars, they cannot be ignored when considering the best premium new model. But that doesn't take anything away from this guy, the third new casting in Thrill Climbers, and a total different take in the same set. It is the Volkswagen IDR, the legendary Pikes Peak Hill Climber. Um, what year was it that it climbed? Just recently, right? And a very interesting casting, a very interesting choice, one that I totally applaud Hot Wheels for doing. And they did it a really cool way. I love the big fat spoiler in the back in order to, you know, they had to make it this kind of, this. they had to do this replica of this car and they did a really, really nice version of it. Uh, not a car that you see Hot Wheels do a lot, but a very interesting choice. I wonder when we'll see that one again, hopefully soon. Back to Fast and Furious, Honda. NSX, not to be confused with the Acura NSX. This is the Type R. What was the year? 2003, I think. Yeah, 2003. Honda NSX Type R from Fast and Furious. Wheel variation on this one, but I have the standard version. Um, some of them got the six spokes, right? No, five spoke. There's the dog. Um, this one in black, actually designed by Ryu Asada, because uh, he's the Honda, he's the resident Honda geek. Um, in the uh, in the Hot Wheels on the Hot Wheels design team, so he tackled this one, uh, gave Mark Jones a little bit of a reprieve, and that one was in Fast and Furious. One of two in that particular mix what was it Quick Shifters? Uh, is this Corvette? I originally thought that this was a casting that we had already seen, but it's not. Brand new for this series, and another one that we've seen two versions of. Um, this is what is the year is this? Uh, this is the Stingray, right? Custom Corvette Stingray Coupe. They don't have a year attached to it, but yeah, introduced uh, in this red version, nice clean red version with the black five-spoke real riders on it. Looks really, really cool. Really, really sporty. I thought it was an existing casting. It was not. And the same thing happened when Team Transport, the latest mix, was released, and I realized that this Corvette, which I thought was a mainline version, was also that same Corvette casting, the brand new one. So. We've seen it twice and it totally has a different look here with the Trans Am style wheels, the racing deco, the number 65 racing stripes and roundels on the side. So you can look at two versions of that cat, of that Corvette if you uh, to, to give you evidence to decide if you want to make that one your best of. 
back to car culture. Modern classics. I think we can all agree that this one um, will be up there as a favorite. The response to this particular car has been phenomenal. I don't know about you, but it seems that this mix, Modern Classics 2, has been in lower numbers. I may, be, I may be wrong on this, but it just doesn't seem to be as prevalent on the pegs as I've seen others. Maybe it's just been so popular that it just comes and goes so quickly. But I usually get a sense of, of this, and it seems like this one has been a little bit harder to find. And uh, this Mercedes seems to be a little bit harder to find. And uh, But um, this is what Mercedes is. What's the official name? 72 Mercedes-Benz 280 SEL 4.5. This one seems to be a departure from Hot Wheels as well. Something very unique. You know, they slammed it. They put the steelies on it. But it still has kind of this classic VIP feel to it um, that is really cool. And it may not even be black. It may actually be more of a metal flake blue. Two more. All from the same, that's from the same uh, final mix of Boulevard in 2020. One that I just have to think this was all about Mark Jones doing. He loves these kind of classic cars. This is the 1969 Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. I hope I said it right. Um, cool, classic European styling here with the Alfa Romeo. Just sexy lines all the way through, replicated beautifully by Mark Jones. So another surprise, along with the Mercedes and some, these are a lot of surprises actually in this mix. Um, but to see that kind of just classic, kind of expensive, just uber fancy Alfa Romeo was cool. And then going completely across the spectrum uh, to JDM and kind of a, a retake on the A86 or a redo. We had uh, Junamai's original casting which has kind of worn out its welcome a little bit. And now we have this new premium version, which has also been converted, as you remember, to basic and mix A. It is the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Trueno um, in white, sitting on the small rims, very much a nice, cool, open headlights, everything, cool JDM version of the Trueno. There it is. That's your mix, or that's your group of Hot Wheels premium new models, licensed new models. That my friends is a powerhouse i look at this you could give i could make an argument for every one of these almost every one to be my favorite or best of the year there are so many good models here and as i said on instagram let the haymakers fly how are you going to decide but you gotta you only have one vote and you gotta pick it and i'm gotta do the same thing and I don't know what I'm going to pick yet because there's so many good ones. I've just got to think it through, bite my lip, and go for it. you got to do the same. Thanks, everybody. Go down and vote. Make sure your vote is counted. Tell your friends. Have them do the same thing. Everyone's got an opinion on these. Uh, and we want to know what it is. Hot Wheels does, too. They love looking at this stuff and seeing what you pick as what you consider the best new model. All right. Basics coming up. Same thing with Matchbox. Be prepared to keep voting. Bye.